Okay, this diagrammatic presentation of VEP chart and the CVP analysis. Okay, so this is the formula part. Okay, the various terminologies and marginal costing, which is a part of your formulas. So it starts with contribution, sales minus variable cost, and the other formula of contribution is fixed cost plus profit. And how do you get it? Obviously, from the statement. What is your statement? In statement is that your sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution minus fixed cost is equal to profit. This is what you write down in a marginal fashion, right? So this is the first formula: sales minus variable cost is contribution. Second formula, students, you will get from here. Okay, you will get it from here. How to go reverse? You get minus plus minus. So I can say contribution is fixed cost plus profit. So that is how you get this one. These two formulas. Okay. Right. Then next is PV ratio. What is PV ratio? It is an indicator of the rate of profit. Is an indicator of rate of profit which is earned by the businessman. Okay, so it indicates the rate at which you are earning your profits in business. Okay, so marginal costing may profit below it is not net profit. It is always the gross profit. But the word gross profit we call it as contribution. So marginal costing is not about net profit. It is all about gross profit. ओके जिसको हम कंट्रीब्यूशन बोलते हैं इस चैप्टर में तो पीवी रेशियो फॉर्मूला इज कंट्रीब्यूशन अपॉन सेल्स इनटू 100 एंड पीवी रेशियो का द अदर फॉर्मूला ओके व्हिच वी यूज इन सम सॉल्विंग इज डिफरेंस इन प्रॉफिट्स अपॉन डिफरेंस इन सेल्स इनटू 100 ओके आई सी आई क्लियरली हाइलाइटेड योर दिस फॉर्मूला विल बी यूज्ड ओनली व्हेन टू इयर्स प्रॉफिट्स इन टू इयर्स सेल्स इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन Fine. Next, BEP in units. Okay. So, what is break-even point? It is a point where the businessman makes more profit units. Okay. So, when I say my decision is on the basis of variable cost in marginal costing. Uh, sorry. When I say my decision is on the basis of contribution in marginal costing, means what? I am able to recover my variable cost. Okay, I am able to recover my variable cost, but after contribution, I write fixed cost is equal to profit. But my ra jo decision making hai, wo to is basis pe hoi jayega. I will I will not depend on profit. I am going to depend on contribution for my decision making. Correct. So that means fixed cost is not recovered. When anything is not recovered, matlab I am paying it from my profit. That is why I have written here fixed cost is paid. Okay, so the logic behind remembering BP is just remember fixed cost is paid. I told you the logic why fixed cost is paid. Yeah, is this clear to everyone? Clear? Is it clear? That's the logic how you remember the formulas. Clear to everyone? Okay, great. Thanks, Anisha. Let's see. Your formula, see. The numerator is what fixed cost. Denominator. When you want your answer in units, you should always divide with contribution per unit. When you want your answer in rupees, you should always divide with PV ratio. Okay, so these are the tricks and techniques to remember the formulas in this chapter. Okay, the numerator is not going to change. Yes, the numerator will ch uh, change in MOS and BEP obviously. Okay, so that's the logic behind the numerator, the fixed cost in break-even point. So BEP ka there is one more formula. Uh, you can verify your answer. BEP in units multiplied with selling price per unit. This is as simple as how you calculate sales. अगर मुझे sales निकालना है rupees में तो मैं कैसे निकालूँगी? Selling quantity multiplied with selling price per unit. This is how I get sales. The same logic is behind the formulas given to me. Okay? It is BEP in units multiplied with selling price per unit. Next is MOS. Margin of safety. Me, what happens? Profit is earned by the businessman. Okay. Yeah. 
And what is the definition of margin of safety? Excess of actual sales over VEPC. Okay, so the first formula of MOS in units is profit is earned by the businessman. That is why the numerator has profit. And you want your answer in units. So see, you will divide with contribution per unit. You want your answer in rupees. You will divide with PV ratio. Okay, that's the trick and technique. Right? Then one of the formulas of MOS is its definition. Excess of actual sales over BEP sale is the definition of MOS. So if you look into your formula, see, actual sales in units minus BEP in units. Same formula is there for rupees also. Actual sales in rupees minus BEP in rupees. Okay. And obviously you can use the third formula as well. MOS in units multiplied with selling price per unit. The same logic what we use for BEP. Okay, so uh, you should know all the formulas so that you can verify your answer by using the other formula. Okay, and you should also see the exam what information is given and which formula can be used to calculate the missing information. So that all comes with practice, obviously. So this is what I had explained. And then desired sales and desired profit. Desired sales, know what happens is in future, fixed cost is paid and profit is earned. So see, you will see the formula. Fixed cost plus profit. You want your answer in units, contribution per unit. You want your answer in rupees, then divide with PV ratio. Okay, the logic remains same for all the three, BEP, MOS, and desired sales. Clear everyone? Okay, let us start with this first question. I mean, type one sum where sales variable cost, fixed cost will be given in the question. This is the first type of sum. Now let us check which information is as given. Okay. Fixed cost is given, yes, 18,000. Variable cost is given, yes, 30,000. Sales is given, yes, 50,000. And unit sold is given, 20,000. Okay, so yeah, see this, this is type one where sales variable cost fixed cost is given in the question okay and what are you supposed to calculate what are we calculating we are asked to calculate contribution per unit margin of safety now question me kuch bola nahi hai because there are two formulas margin or margin of safety in units as well as in rupees so do we find that units wala bhi rupees wala bhi and next, volume of sales to earn a profit of rupees 24,000. So, to earn a profit of rupees 24,000, this is my desired profit. And volume of sales, volume matlab quantity. So, desired sales in units. Is the question clear? The question is clear to everyone. A few informations are given. 
we are supposed to find the remainder. Okay, so let us start with. Now, just remember whenever you start with the uh, marginal constant sums, always start with uska Cauchy format. Okay, format se show up karenge, hamesha. Okay, we'll start with the marginal Cauchy format. Okay, start. Make this format. Right on marginal cost sheet. Okay, always start with this marginal cost sheet. Units produced units sold is twenty thousand. That's the assumption in marginal because it's a short term concept. So we assume whatever we have produced, we will sell it. There will be no scope for unsold stock that is closing stock in marginal cost sheet. Okay. So sales kitna bola hai? 50,000. So write down 50,000. Variable cost 30,000. Write in the amount for them 30,000. Okay. So contribution will be how much? Fifty thousand minus thirty thousand is how much? Twenty thousand. So that's my contribution, and fixed cost is how much? Eighteen thousand. So twenty thousand minus eighteen thousand is two thousand. So that's my profit. Then calculate this CPU cost per unit column. How will you get this? Divide it with unit C. Because twenty thousand units sold, so fifty thousand divided by twenty thousand. My CPU is two point five. Then thirty thousand divided by twenty thousand. One point five. Two point five minus one point five is how much? One rupee. Okay, one rupee. Cross check करो. 1 rupee into this 20,000 is how much? 20,000. Okay, and you can even cross check like this. Sales minus variable cost 30 minus 30 is also 20. Okay, so this is how you can cross check your answer. Okay, so pehla kya pucha tha? what were we asked first? We were asked first to calculate CPU. Uh, contribution per unit okay so market this is the first part of the question contribution per unit one rupee is this clear is it clear till here to everyone So whichever sums come in exam, this is what you have to start with. Okay. Yeah. Once you know the table information, you can use your logics to calculate the other part. Next, what is next? Margin of safety. Second part of the question. Margin of safety. So let us calculate that. Yeah. Margin of safety. Margin of safety. We have to calculate both because the question is silent. In absence of information, we will calculate both units as well as rupees. So margin of safety in units formula is margin of safety, we get profit. The numerator will have profit. And whenever we want answer in units, we divide with contribution per unit. Okay. So 2000 is my profit divided by 1 rupee. So my answer is 2000 units. Okay. See, you can even cross check this answer. If you have answer, you can cross check this answer. 
which formula you can use MOS in units is equal to actual sales in units minus EP in units. Actual sales term is given to us 20,000. Question will be how units will be 20,000. BP. BP we can not put it up. Oh, we can sit there. Okay. So BP in units could not. BP in units can fix cost upon contribution per unit. Okay. Fix cost could not 18,000. 18,000 divided by 1 rupees how much? 18,000. Okay. Then BP in rupees case in Malaya. How do we get BP in rupees? BP in units, 18,000 multiplied with selling price. Selling price could be 2.5. So see, 18,000 into 2. 18,000 into 2.5 is how much? 45,000. So my answer is 45,000. I'm just telling you how to cross check, okay? Yeah, up to four. VP in units kitna mila? 18, no? We will substitute for 18. So 20,000 minus 18,000 is how much? 2,000. See, it matches with this answer. It has to. Is this clear? Is this clear to everyone? This is how you will cross check your answer. I am not telling you to use both, write both the formulas in exam. But at least you can use one and really cross check with the other so that you are confident with the answer. Okay, next MOS in rupees profit upon PV ratio. Okay, or MOS in units into selling price per unit. Formula use for something. B wala P or P wala P. Okay, we can do. In the first formula, mere pas profit to hai 2000. But mere pas PV ratio nahi hai. So kya hua? PV ratio to hum nikal sakte hai. Now, PV ratio is what? Contribution upon sales in 200. Contribution kitna hai? 8 rupiah. Sales kitna hai? 2.5 into 100. So 1 divided by 2.5 into 100. So the answer is 40%. PV ratio is 40%. So you can write here. And then solve. 2000 divided by 40 plus the percent of So the answer is 5000. Okay, see. And use the other formula. MOS in units is equal to yeah, MOS in rupees is equal to MOS in units into selling price per unit. MOS in units is 2000. That we calculate here, right? Multiply it with 2.5. 5000. See, this answer has too much. Okay, it has too much. MOS के तो तीन formulas हैं और एक भी है actual sales in rupees minus BP in rupees ये भी एक formula है इससे भी आप cross check कर सकते हैं actual sales कितना है fifty thousand if BP कितना है अभी हमने calculate किया था ना BP या forty five thousand 50 minus 45 is how much? 5. See, so you will formula use the answer same I know. Samaj me aara hai. Is it clear? So for 2 2 marks, this can be asked. So you should know all the formulas. Whichever formula you use. Final answer will never change. Okay. So you guys note down everything whatever I have done. Four 
कोई भी फार्मूला यूज़ करो एक ही बात है इसलिए मैंने क्या बोला जब भी आप फार्मूला लगाते हो पहले देखो कौन सा इन्फॉर्मेशन दिया है कौन सा फार्मूला इजी है फाइंड करने के लिए वो वाला यूज़ करो अब जैसे इन दिस सम एम ओ एस इन यूनिट्स के लिए द सेकेंड फार्मूला इज़ मोर ईजी एम ओ एस एम ओ एस इन रुपीज के लिए द सेकेंड फार्मूला एम ओ एस इन यूनिट्स इन टू सेलिंग प्राइस पर यूनिट बिकॉज आई हैव एम ओ एस इन यूनिट्स एंड आई हैव सेलिंग प्राइस पर यूनिट ओके इफ आई यूज द फर्स्ट फार्मूला लाइक प्रॉफिट अपॉन पी वी रेशियो आई हैव प्रॉफिट बट आई डोंट हैव पी वी रेशियो तो फिर पी वी रेशियो पहले निकालना पड़ेगा ऐसा एंड थर्ड फार्मूला में बी पी निकालना पड़ेगा बी पी पूछा नहीं है ना इसके तो वो एक एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट होगा दैट्स इट नॉट पेमेंट्स तो This all comes with practice. You should know out of the three or the two formulas which is best uh, for solving. Okay, which uh, formula will give you the answer uh, in minimum time? Yeah, that is important. Okay, so done. You all have noted down. Then can I proceed further? नोट डाउन कर लिया नेक्स्ट भी हो गया नेक्स्ट क्या पूछा है डिजायर सेल्स इन यूनिट्स पूछा ओके थोड़ा थर्ड वन डिजायर सेल्स इन यूनिट्स पूछा है ना हाउ डू यू नो दिस Because they have asked you volume. Volume मतलब quantity. Volume of sales मतलब कितना units बेचोगे तो आपको twenty four thousand का profit होगा. Okay? Futuristic approach है कि अगर चौबीस हजार रुपए कमाने हैं profit और चौबीस हजार चाहिए तो कितना units बेचोगे तो चौबीस हजार का profit होगा. That is the question. Okay? So I don't have formula. Desired sales in units is equal to fixed cost plus desired profit upon contribution per unit. Fixed cost we know eighteen thousand. Contri or uh, desired profit we know twenty four thousand. Contribution per unit is one rupee. So the answer is forty two thousand. Desired sales in units is forty two thousand. Okay, so this completes my question. Three things I asked you. Three more we have to find. Contribution per unit find. MOS in units and rupees find. And desired sales in units find. Am I clear with the question to everyone? The solution is also clear. Okay, great. Okay, so now let us move on to the next question. Look at this question. This is also a similar question only of type one. You see, a uh, product is sold at rupees eighty per unit. That is the selling price. This is the selling price per unit. Variable cost is rupees sixty. So this is my variable cost per unit. Fixed cost is rupees six lakhs. The only information we have type one. Compute the following. I have to calculate PV ratio break even point. Again, कुछ नहीं बोला है तो units and rupees both formula we will use. Okay. Next, third one. You have to calculate margin of safety at the sale of rupees fifty thousand. आपको margin of safety निकालनी है क्या तो ऐसे हैं actual sales कितना है fifty thousand units है. तो अगर ये units में है तो obviously ये जो MOS है ये भी आपको units में ही निकालना है. ओके समझ में आ रहा है एवरीवन इज दिस क्लियर सो दीज आर स्मॉल एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस ओके सो एज आई टू यू व्हेनेवर यू स्टार्ट विद द सम 
यू ऑलवेज हैव टू स्टार्ट बाय गॉड टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन ठीक है स्टार्ट करो यूनिट्स पर यूज यूनिट्स सोल्ड इज 50000 एक्चुअली सेल्स दी है ना वही यूनिट्स सोल्ड होता है 50000 ओके सेल्स पर यूनिट दिया है कितना 80 वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट इज गिवन सिक्सटी फिक्स कॉस्ट अमाउंट इज गिवन सिक्स लैक्स ओके नाउ सॉल्व हाउ विल यू गेट सेल्स ये कैसे मिलेगा फिफ्टी थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाइड विद एटी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाइड विद सिक्सटी दिस विल गिव यू अमाउंट पर चेक करो Fifty thousand into eighty is how much? Forty lakhs. Fifty thousand into sixty is how much? Thirty lakhs. Okay. Forty minus thirty is ten lakhs. Okay. Ten lakhs divided by fifty thousand. Twenty. Okay. How do you get this twenty? I will divide this with units. That is fifty thousand. Ten lakhs minus six lakhs is how much? Four lakhs. Okay. This is how you are going to complete this table. Is it clear how to fill the marginal cost sheet table? सबसे पहले टेबल बनाओ जो इन्फॉर्मेशन दी है उसको टेबल में डालो और फिर देखो बाकी के इन्फॉर्मेशन दिमाग लगाओ कैसे मिलेगा डिवाइड करके मिलेगा या मल्टीप्लाई करके मिलेगा ओके okay? तो बेसिक मैथ्स है ओके कम टू पी वी रेशन पहले क्या पूछा है पी वी रेशन सॉल्व करो पी वी रेशन इज वॉट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वन सेल्स इन टू Okay, now students, here you can use per unit also, and you can use amount also. Okay, amount कितना है ten lakhs. अभी भी form ना use कर सकते हैं. Ten lakhs divided by forty lakhs. Ten lakhs divided by forty lakhs into hundred. Both the formulas will give you the same answer. Ten divided by forty into hundred. So twenty five. Even this will give you the same answer. Twenty five. So, या तो तुम per unit column का information लो, या तुम amount column का information लो. Answer आपको एक ही मिलेगा. ठीक है ना? Clear? Is it clear? So all these techniques, all these tricks, you will, you know, sink in with only when you start practicing with it. Right now, I am solving it. I am showing it to you on the screen. It it looks very easy, like a cakewalk. Okay, but it's not. When you do it on your own, you have to analyze, think, fix. कहाँ से चीजें किधर दिए कैसे पाल करनी है? Second, what they have asked you is BP in rupees and units both. I have told you now when the question is silent, you have to calculate both. Okay? So BP in units is fixed cost upon contribution per unit. So my fixed cost is six lakhs. Contribution per unit is twenty rupees. So six lakhs divided by twenty is thirty thousand. Then calculate your BEP in rupees. BEP in rupees. I'm using the other formula also to show you that our answer is correct. BEP in rupees is also BEP in units multiplied by selling price per unit. BEP in units is how much? Thirty multiplied by selling price. How much? Eighty rupees. Solve this. Thirty thousand into eight. My answer is twenty-four lakhs. It has to be. I told you, right? It has to match. So it's twenty-four lakhs. 
clear second part is also clear bp in rupees and units both next next kya puchha mos use karo mos ka formula calculate this mos in units actual sales minus bp sales theek hai now for mos in units you have to use this formula why because actual sales dn 50000 question mein okay aur aap ye dusra formula bhi use kar sakte ho obviously you can say for example kabhi question mein profit nahi ho to fir aap ye formula nahi use kar sakte thoda dhyan de okay on these sums yeah otherwise you can cross check by using this formula which i have written profit upon contribution per unit both will give you the same answer okay so i hope i'm clear with the second question also to everyone are you guys finding it easy I mean, it is just application based, purely application based. Okay, great. Okay. Now, moving on to the next question. question number 2 okay now this sum which we are going to do question number 2 this is your type 2 so in type 2 sums what will be there two years profits and sales is given okay the question will give you this information टू इयर्स का प्रॉफिट एंड टू इयर्स का सेल्स ठीक है लुक इन टू दिस क्वेश्चन ध्यान से देखो फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग पर्टिकुलर यू रिक्वायर टू कैलकुलेट वॉट पहला फिक्स कॉस्ट देन पी वी रेशियो देन पी ई पी ब्रेक इवन सेल्स एंड देन यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट सेल्स टू ऑन अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ रुपीज सिक्स एक्स तो ये क्या है डिजायर प्रॉफिट और ये क्या है यू हैव टू फाइंड डिजायर सेल्स एंड फोर्थ वन फिफ्थ वन सॉरी यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी फॉर द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व ओके ना वो डिड आई टेल यू दिस इज द टाइप टू सम और टाइप टू सम में जिस लोग जिस लोग ये टू इयर्स दिया है आपको टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन ये दो साल हो गए हैं ये फर्स्ट ईयर हो गया और ये सेकेंड ईयर हो गया बराबर तो मैंने क्या बोला टू इयर्स प्रॉफिट एंड सेल्स तो टू इयर्स सेल्स भी दिया फोर्टीन लैख फोर्टी एंड ट्वेंटी वन लैख सिक्सटी अभी नेक्स्ट मुझे क्या चाहिए दो साल का प्रॉफिट बट प्रॉफिट नहीं दिया प्रॉफिट की जगह पे कॉस्ट दिया है बट हमें तो पता है सेलिंग प्राइस माइनस प्रॉफिट सॉरी सेलिंग प्राइस माइनस कॉस्ट मीस प्रॉफिट तो प्रॉफिट तो मुझे मिल जाएगा फोर्टीन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड माइनस ट्वेल्व लैख नाइन्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड माइनस एटीन लैख सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड इफ आई सॉल्व दिस आई विल गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन का प्रॉफिट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी एम आई क्लियर टू एवरी वन इज दिस क्लियर टू एवरी वन समझ में आ रहा है 
टू ईयर्स प्रॉफिट टू ईयर्स सेल्स कैसे इंफॉर्मेशन निकलना है ओके सो नोट डाउन वॉट डिड आई टेल यू वेन एवर यू स्टार्ट विद अ सम स्टार्ट विद मार्जिन तो ये जो मैंने लिखा है कॉपी में स्टॉप दिस इज द वर्किंग मिनट ओके सॉल्व दिस दिस इज योर वर्किंग मिनट एंड यू कैन इवन राइट इट लाइक दिस वन लैक फोर्टी फोर एंड टू लैक फिफ्टी जब हम इसको सॉल्व करेंगे दिस इज द वर्किंग मिनट ओके फोर्टीन लैक फोर्टी थाउजेंड माइनस ट्वेल्व लैक नाइन्टी सिक्स सो माई प्रॉफिट इज वन लैक फोर्टी फोर ट्वेंटी वन लैक सिक्सटी माइनस एटीन लैक सेवेंटी टू सो माई प्रॉफिट इज टू लैक एटी एट तो अभी हो गया क्वेश्चन उस टाइप का टू ईयर्स प्रॉफिट टू ईयर्स सेल्स एम आई क्लियर विद वर्किंग नोट Even if question is not given, you profit. You can calculate total cost to the end. No? Sales minus total cost is profit. Okay, and then. यहाँ पहले फिक्स कॉस्ट पूछा है पर हमें फिक्स कॉस्ट नहीं मिल सकता है वी हैव टू फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट पी वी रेशियो ओके सो इफ यू रिमेंबर जब मैंने आपके साथ थ्योरी किया था मैंने बोला था पी वी रेशियो के दो फॉर्मूलाज हैं सो यू हैव टू यूज दैट फॉर्मूला फॉर आर टू फॉर्मूलाज ऑफ पी वी रेशियो दिस इज द सेकेंड वन पी वी रेशियो इज इक्वल टू Difference in profits upon difference in sales into hundred. Okay, so note down this. Difference in profits. Difference means that you are going to subtract minus zero. So two thousand thirteen minus two thousand twelve. Okay, difference in profits upon difference in sales into hundred. Difference means minus one. So note down this. Okay. So my answer is twenty percent. My PV ratio is twenty percent. Okay. This is the second formula of PV ratio, which we use only when two years profits and two years the sales is given. the question otherwise we don't use this formula otherwise we use the basic formula okay basic formula basic concept pv ratio is equal to contribution upon sales into 100 we know so this information se mujhe kya milega contribution milega okay we know on this pv ratio is equal to contribution upon sales into 100 Calculate for 2014 and 2012. Two of the PV ratio same. Okay. Now uh, you must be thinking, ma'am, me here hundred me likha. Who me likha? Because either twenty percent percentage is already there, so I will remove hundred. Next year, solve the equation. You will get the answer. Fourteen lakh forty thousand per twenty percent. Is two lakh eighty eight thousand and twenty one lakh sixty per twenty percent. Four lakh thirty two thousand. Okay. Contribution to him here. Once we get the contribution, we will substitute in the marginal cost sheet and we get the other.